Hi, I'm Jeff with McGuard, and today I'm going to show you how to properly install an install kit containing lug bolts and locking wheel bolts. We'll start with the lug bolts. The most important thing to remember is that the wheel lock should always be the last fastener applied to the wheel and the first one removed from the wheel. Remove one of the lug bolts from your wheel. Begin by threading the lug bolt onto the wheel by hand. For best results, use a torque wrench and socket for final tightening. It is not recommended that you use an impact gun. Use of an impact gun can result in uneven or over tightening of fasteners, which could damage your wheels or your hub assembly. Tighten each fastener to the recommended installation torque found in your vehicle owner's manual. If you are installing an aftermarket wheel, use the torque recommended by the wheel manufacturer. Minimum thread engagement must be equal to the thread diameter of the lug bolt. If you have any questions regarding this, please contact McGuard Technical Support at 1-800-444-5847, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Repeat these steps in a progressive crisscross pattern for each fastener on the wheel. Lug bolts are critical fasteners, and as such, they should all be retorqued after the first 25 miles of driving. This includes the wheel lock. The final fastener installed on the wheel is the wheel lock. Engage the key into the lock. Begin by threading the lock bolt on to the wheel by hand. For best results, use a torque wrench and socket for final tightening. Tighten the wheel locks to the same torque as you used for the lug bolts. Remove the key, and that's it. 